Greetings and welcome to another video. Well, it is the holiday season, so Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. Hope all the other holidays that you are celebrating have been going well and will continue to go well. There are a lot of holidays, all of which I do not know them all. I just stick with the ones that I personally celebrate and know. In this video, we are going to read a dating note card. It has been a while since I have done one of those, and sorry that my hand just went through my boob, but uh, you know how those animations can be quirky at times. So let's go ahead and get into it. And for those of you that are not familiar with the dating note cards, I retrieve dating note cards from a dating agency that I've been involved in for quite a long time now. And I will go through, pick out random ones, and then I will read over them. And I point out possible red flags, things that might be confusing, and I also give tips on how that the note card could have been better written. I critique it. I'm a little bit judgy, but uh, look, let me tell you, these note cards... They can be quite uh, lacking in one might call intelligence. So, you know, but it is Second Life and Second Life is on the Internet. So there you go. I just say it how it is. Age 32, male from the UK, sexual orientation, straight, looking for something genuine. Like we haven't heard that one before, right? Friendship that could develop into something more. Okay. Preferably a woman around my age and from the UK, but not a requirement. Now, I find it quite interesting how he used a semicolon. When he didn't need to, he could have just used a comma. Now, I'm British too. I don't sound like it, but I am. I'm a dual citizen. I'm American British. So I know both sides of the... Uh, Grammar pond. That's just a little nitpick that I do. Open to RL or just SL relationship? SL for a while at first, then RL when we're both ready to. Depending on how well we get on, please be single RL and on SL. All right. So SL for a while at first. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty common. You know, we all do that. And then it you know, goes into Discord, and then once you get into Discord, you never see that person in Second Life again. They always have an excuse about how they, oh, I can't log into Second Life, and they just want to keep things on Discord. But you know that there is a high possibility that that person is on their alt in SL and just with you in Discord. It happens. It has happened, and I'm sure it's still happening. Do you like to talk on voice? Yes. Okay. Yes. Likes to talk on voice. Great. What makes you happy? The simple things. Music, food, and good company are a few things that make me happy. Bog standard. I mean, food. Food is a necessity of life. We all need food. Sure, we could go a couple of days without food, but... It is a necessity of life. I mean, that's like saying, what makes you happy? Air. Okay. Happy to be breathing. I, okay, I can take it that way. Uh, music. Music. I have not met anyone that doesn't like music or doesn't find some emotional response to music whether that's happy or sad or whatever it would be a lot better if he would have said what type of music makes him happy what type of food makes him happy and good company what type of good company your friends or your family or you know random people that you meet on the street and like hey i don't know these people but they make me happy some more clarification would be great. It continues. I could be quite excitable, so I'm often happy about something. 
I believe in the power of positivity. <laughs> well, I believe in the power of positivity. To me, personally, that just says they probably have several pairs of rose-colored glasses to which they view the world through some unrealistic, utopian, atmospheric shader. Who knows? That's just what comes to my mind whenever I hear someone say, I like to be positive, or you need to be more positive, or positivity makes me happy. And it's like, I'm just not one of those people. I, I'm a realist. So, but that's just me. That's just my personal thing. You could be quite excitable. I wonder in what context, you know, if you're a guy and you're excitable, well, things can pop up. A particular thing can be, you know, springing into action once they're excitable. I mean, I would like some clarification. How can you be quite excitable? What makes you quite excitable? Continues. Also telling dad jokes and calmly putting the world to right. I'm not sure how you can calmly put the world to right if you believe in the power of positivity. Just that doesn't make sense to me. But if it makes sense to you, let me know in the comments. I'd love to read it. What are your hobbies in Second Life? Shopping and trying on demos, then putting them in my forever expanding wish list folder to remind myself what I like. I wouldn't mind trying to start up my own shop, but ensure where to begin or what to do. I'm fairly open to doing other things too. Okay. So the question is, what are your hobbies in Second Life? And it just, he has a hobby, so he likes to go shopping and try on demos. Put them in his wish list folder to remind himself what he likes. There's a problem in there. Do you know where it is? I'll highlight it for you. To remind myself what I like. Why do you need reminding of what you like? Now, if he had worded it to remind myself what to buy, that would make a lot more sense. But to say, to remind myself what I like, it kind of puts into question that perhaps this person is it comfortable with their own self to know for certain what they do like on a regular basis? I mean, how does that work? Do you go into your wish list folder and like, hmm, I can't remember if I like the color red or blue. Let me look. I, I don't I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. And why would you junk up your inventory with a wish list folder of demos? Why? Why would you do that? You could have a, an MP wish list link. Oh, dear. Now, he says he wouldn't mind trying to start up his own shop, but he's unsure. And, well, yeah, that's understandable because, you know, uh, it can be difficult to start out want to do something and not sure how to do it or what to do within it. And he's fairly open to doing other things, too. It would be great if he had expanded as to what type of other things but you know the question is what are your hobbies in second life so perhaps maybe one of his hobbies in second life is goal setting here is certainly a goal moving on what are some qualities you are looking for in a potential partner now those of you that have been with me for several years now know that this section is one of the most generically answered question of any type of question in all the date and note cards that I've ever done. If you don't know what the generic answers are, you will learn quickly. What are some qualities you are looking for in a potential partner? Being respectful, kind, and affectionate would go a long way. Now, everybody wants respect. Everybody wants to be respected. Kind. Everybody wants kindness in their life. People don't want to be mean. They don't want to receive the meanness. They want kindness. So that's generic. And affectionate. We all want love. We all want affectionateness. We all want 
genteel, natural affection, you know, some public displays of affection, some dark alley types of secret affection, you know? I mean, we all want that. So these are quite generic. But if we vibe and have that attraction, then great. Okay, well, that's not a quality. That's an outcome if the quality has been met. So th this right here is not a quality. This is just an outcome. Honesty goes a long way too. Yes, it does. That is why everyone wants honesty. Nobody on this planet wants to be lied to. Nobody. So this is generic. This is a generic quality. You know, all of the decent human being traits. Yes. Generic traits. It would be better if he expanded and said specific qualities that he personally is looking for. Because this is just, this does not narrow down the specific qualities that he wants in a potential partner. It is possible that you could meet someone that has these decent human being traits, the bog standard generic traits that we all want, right? A person could be respectful, they could be affectionate, they could be kind, and they could be honest. But yet, there's just something about them that it's not enough. Those basic qualities just aren't enough. And it's good to find out what other qualities that they have or expand on what specific qualities that one may want. Because if not, then it could be awkward. Do you RP? If so, what kind of RP? Yes, and it depends on my mood. I'm fairly open to try more RP things on SL. Nothing too extent extreme, but we'll see. I do play Bloodlines. Red flag. I'm currently a vampire. Thinking about going Blood Demon because that sounds metal as F. Maybe he meant mental as F. Though I'm mostly enjoying BL Legends at the moment, I wouldn't mind trying out other HUD games or being part of another RP community. Oh, oh, dear. Look at that. Oh, and don't worry, I won't bite much. Don't ever, ever, ever say this. Never. Don't put it in your profile. Don't put it in your pics. Don't put it in your first life tab. Don't, don't, don't put it on a bathroom wall in a seedy restaurant. Don't do it. Just don't use this at all. Now, he did say that he does like dad jokes, but this is not a dad joke. This is lack of creativity. It is so common and it shows no sense of wit or humor. Just don't do it. He plays Bloodlines. Well, as we all know, Bloodlines is a uh, pyramid scheme. How he worded this sentence, I'm currently a vampire thinking about going Blood Demon because that sounds mental as if. This here has taken the intelligence level down a couple of notches. One, because it's supposed to be mental, but it's metal. So I guess he doesn't proofread what he types. So that would really hinder some poor RP ship on his part. You have family in Second Life. I am part of a Budlon's family. Red flag, red flag, just keep moving, red flag. But that's about it. They're not an RP family, though. We mostly hang out, do the achievements, and get together for parties every now and then and have a laugh. Now, I've done other Dayton note card videos, and I have explained. When you start a relationship with someone that has an SL family or a clan top family or whatever, most of the time does not work out because you have jealous sisters, jealous mothers, and on the flip side, you have jealous brothers and jealous fathers, you know? 
I'm telling you, it's a thing. It is a thing. Just, just don't even get involved. The first time someone says, yeah, I got an SL family, say, well, it was nice to meet you. Bye. <laughs> just leave. How important is family to you in Second Life? My BL family are very important to me. They've been there since I've started SL and every time I've come back after the after years off SL. So he has a history of leaving SL for a while and then coming back. So that's something to consider in any type of relationship at SL. Is having sex a second life with your partner important to you? Yes. We don't have to do it all the time, but intimacy is important to me. Now, how many times have we seen this in these date note card videos? A, a lot. A lot. He has worded this. Sex is important to him. Okay. Understandable. He's a dude. He continues to say, we don't have to do it all the time. All right. But there's that button there. Intimacy is important to me. So you can see that there's already some manipulation there. We don't have to do it all the time, but it is important to me. You know, like throwing that bait, like, well, if you don't want to I understand, it's like, it's guilt tripping. It's guilt tripping. And any, and any naive girl will fall for it all the time. Next. Are you into BDSM? If so, are you a sub, dom, dom, a, or verse? Not the more extreme BDSM. The odd spanking and a few kinky rough things is fine too, but I'm also the kind of guy to go with the flow as long as we're having fun. In other words, he either doesn't know what he's doing or he doesn't know what he wants. I'm just going to nail it and say he doesn't know what he wants and doesn't know how to do it. Anything else you would like to add? Feel free to jump in my DMs. DMs. DMs is on Twitter. This is Second Life. They are called IMs for instant messages. I'd be more than happy to chat and to see where things go. I bet you would because intimacy is important to you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments that you would like to leave, Go ahead and leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to read them and other realists will too. There you go. Alrighty. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.